everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's make a super cute caddy for our Easter table, springtime, whatever. Now first I have these, oh my god, TJ Maxx had the best napkins. They were $3.99, they were awesome. So I get it to one ply and then I cut it in half. Then I take this chalk paint and I have four cans that I've cleaned and I'm going to paint them with the chalk paint. Let it dry. Then I'm using some Mod Podge. I only... For me, I do little pieces at a time. So I put some Mod Podge on, then I put the napkin on, and then I put some Mod Podge, more Mod Podge on, and then see how I'm, I'm like stretching the napkin around the can, and then I can smooth it. This was the best way that I have figured out on how to get it on the can without having a bunch of wrinkles. Um, I'm sure some of you smart people know it how to do it even better than I do, but this is how I did it. Then I put some um, Mod Podge on the bottom and then I just go around and put the um, napkin. I'm trying to figure out how to say it, but basically I'm using my brush to push down the napkin on the bottom of the can and I go all the way around to do that. Um, this doing it this way takes a little bit more time because we have to dry the bottom before we can go to the next step but I feel like it gives a really cool like I like the finished look it gives um you obviously don't have to do it this way you could just sand off the bottom if you wanted and not have it on the bottom like that all right so then you got to let it dry really well because if you don't your finger's going to stick to the can and then peel off the napkin so let it dry but then I put a layer of Mod Podge on the inside on the top and then I fold in the top and not the top you know what I mean I'm gonna fold in the napkin oh I feel like this is a David and the fold in the cheese <laughs> all right not everybody knows that reference I apologize anyways moving ever forward I go all the way around the top of the can and there's that look at look how cute now we're gonna let it dry fully and then I'm gonna put a top coat of the Mod Podge on here I'm using my crocodile and I'm going to pop some holes in each of the cans. So again, we have four cans that we did this napkin on and we're going to pop holes in them. Now look at, I have this, I don't know if you remember a long time ago, I used this board and I just used the bottom. Well, I saved it because you know what friends, I don't throw anything away. <laughs> so I popped a couple holes in that to match up to the cans. Then I put a piece of jute, I knocked the end, put it through the can and now I'm putting it through the board. Look at how now the cans obviously are going to um, line up with the bottom of the board. Look how fun. All right. So see how I put the other can in there and then I knot, I get it nice and tight and then I knot, I put a knot on the inside of that can. And then I like to secure it with some glue. You may not have an issue with that, but it's too flopsy for me. So I put some more glue on just to secure them. You could use E6000 if you can use that stuff. Great. Then I added some jute just because I felt like it was a little plain. Um, and then I added a little bit more glue and some Dollar Tree carrots. And are you kidding me? Look at... Friends, I, are you kidding? You could put... It's perfect. You could put silverware, anything. Ah, it's so much fun. Friends, I hope this inspires you. Thank you. 